Hi guys, my name's Steve from Free Bible and the Airsoft in Leeds. So I've been around Airsoft for way too long, some people would say. Uh, in fact, I've been involved with the sport longer than some of my guys have been alive. Uh, so I've seen it all. Uh, when I first started playing it was Springers and a few gas rifles and then Maruri changed the world when they brought out the, the famous or infamous FAMAS with its electric gearbox and then that changed the world for all the airsoft players you know it, everything was reliable everything worked it was great but since then there's been a few improvements uh, like quick change springs things of that nature but nothing really that you know jumps out uh, you look at the RC car world and plane world they've gone from analog to digital we're getting there you know things like the gate titan a fantastic MOSFET or MOSFETs in general are fantastic. We've had a few other uh, innovations like the the old in speed loader for mid cap users but nothing really is a complete package straight out of there. Uh, VFC have been around a long time and we've had a delivery this morning of the new Avalon Premium Series, the, uh, the first one out there which is the Samurai Edge. So I want to show you this bad boy. So this is it. Uh, the VFC Avalon Samurai Edge it's the, from the new premium range so if you are a VFC fan you might have heard of heard about last year that they brought out the, the full Virgo system which was a, a kit basically that you got the upper, the lower, the outer barrel and it had a digital fire control system and a brushless motor the Samurai Edge is part the digital fire control system it's got the version 2.1 gearbox uh, which is uh, 8 mil high speed bearings uh, custom manufacturing uh, high speed gear set heat resistance switch mount with multiple reinforced parts to make it a more reliable AEG uh, for the long term the Avalon uh, Samurai Edge is also fitted with VFC's QRS accessories, tactical air accessories, so you get their uh, QRS grip, so that's got some nice texture, feels really quite nice in the hand. I can imagine if you've got wet hands or wet gloves, you're still going to get a good purchase on that. QRS mid cap, comes with it, feels really quite nice. A um, little bit thin, uh, you know, you can squeeze it, it looks like it is a high cap, but it is actually a mid. And the uh, the QRS stock, which is, is great to be honest, battery storage pop those two tabs out, lifts up, and you can actually get to your battery storage. It is a M-Lock rail system, uh, so nice, lightweight. I also like the addition of the lightning holes along the top rail. Uh, no point putting Riz all the way up there. Not a lot of people put anything in that kind of section, so it's keeping the weight down. It is still M-Lock, so if you want to put a rail section on there for, I don't know, GoPro, something of that nature, you know, action camera, you can do. KAC style uh, match sights, front and rear. Get it on flicked up. So if you're not going to run an optic, you're just going to run old school iron sights. You've got some decent iron sights. Nice extended charging handle, which is there. It is a ambi gun for mag release. So you've got standard mag release, oversized mag release on the right hand side of the gun. And then again on the left hand side, ambi fire selector. That you would like to see on a gun of uh, or a premium gun at this price point a trigger flat blade trigger with a nice little bit of detail it's got like almost like a lightning symbol in the center it is red uh, and there is i mean there is no rock and roll at all in this this is really really you know solid uh it is a programmable uh fire control system which we'll show you later when we get into the range when we do the chrono test out of the box it all comes, also comes fitted with Maple Leaf and uh, so people that know Maple Leaf know that they make some really really good hot bookings and uh, nubs so I'm expecting the range and the accuracy of this to be fantastic. So what else do you get with the actual gun? So that's the gun, you get the mag, 120 round mid cap, you get one section of rail so for mounting at any point on your M lock. Virgo set of instructions, which we'll run through later about how to program it. It's got some really cool features when you plug a battery in as well, and standard Avalon instructions. And because it is, they're pitching this as Samurai Edge, Heart of the Warrior, you also get 
a very cool badge. I don't know if you can see that there, and let me just take it out because it's in zip lock. So there you go. You've got a nice, cool little badge that comes with it. Nice little detail, you know, that VFC have actually included. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the uh, into the range now. What we're going to do, we'll uh, we'll do a chrono test, and then we'll also put on a accuracy test. Right so guys, with so us. we're going to chrono the uh, VFC uh, Avalon Semi Edge. Uh, we are using its QRS mag, and that's loaded with Jeff 0.2s. Uh, but I want to show you a couple of other features that the digital fire control system has got. So when you get the the butt cap off, and you're on Tamiya plugs on this gun. When you plug your battery in, you get bleeps. Now, the audible bleeps tell you if you've got a, an 11.1 uh, LiPo, which you get the three beeps. And if you have two beeps, you're putting a 7.4 into it. If you get no beeps, you've not got a charged battery or a, a, a dead battery. The other uh, programming mode, you can actually change how the gun actually operates. So standard operation would be safe, semi, full auto. You've got safe, semi, burst safe burst full auto and the way that you actually do that is you put it into uh, semi mode pull and hold the trigger wait for it to bleep okay let go so i've got now in semi still semi put it into full auto and then get three round burst again the way that you do it put it back into semi pull and hold Wait for it to beep. You get three beeps. In semi now, I have got three round burst and full auto. Uh, the downside of that is when you do disconnect the battery, it does reset to uh, factory settings. So you go back to safe semi, full auto as you would do with any standard AG. So let me just do that quickly. Just quick disconnect. Okay, right, I pro on. Mag in. We're in semi. Okay, so uh, just a quick test shot. Okay, so again, these are Jeff point twos. Okay, we'll pop it into, uh, we did get a bit of a rebound then, so let's just put it into full auto. See what we're getting uh, rounds per second. Um, that's actually quite good. I'm going to do that again. So uh, that's the FPS. Consistent around about 310. Uh, again, the hop's not been set. Uh, we'll probably get a little bit more, a little bit less once the, the hops have been dialed in, barrels been cleaned. Uh, off to do the accuracy right, test. Okay, so we're upstairs in another part of our uh, building. We've got around about probably just under 30 meters. Uh, we've got a, a target set up there and we've loaded the mag up with uh, threes uh, just to give it a better indication of how it performs. We've played around with the hop slightly. I am going to shoot it open sight, so I've not got an optic on this. And we'll start with a standing position, then go into a, a kneeled position. Uh, start with semi, and then a bit of a bl uh, blast on full auto, and see what the accuracy is right. So, let's. Uh, without further ado, let's go. So we're down at the target now, and I, I was aiming open sights roundabout for the A. Uh, my first few shots were up in the like the one o'clock position. 
my eyes are getting bad, I couldn't actually see that far down there. Uh, and then the full auto blast or blasts were basically in this kind of position. We didn't bother doing a kneeling shot uh, because I forgot. So that was all from a standing position. Uh, the gun is is epic, to be honest. Uh, I think once you've got the, the hop dialed in for you, uh, barrel cleaned out, and uh, you know, you've got to grips with the actual uh, the Avalon, the Samurai Edge. I think you've got a fantastic platform to you know to build on. With the FPS being uh, under or around about the three uh, three ten mark with point twos, you know, it makes it sight legal anywhere. Uh, the length of the barrel, it's going to be a game changer. You know, that digital fire control system. Uh, is a very nice touch. If you want any more information on the the, the new uh, Avalon Premium Samurai Edge, please do send us a message through Facebook or call the shop directly. Thanks very much for watching.